What we have here is a 25 gauge cable that's built with the EPTFE dielectric. And what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this around a mandrel and show how stable it is under stress. Typically, the cable, after wrapping around such a smaller diameter, you would see a big drop in the insertion loss. But with our EPTFE dielectric, it makes the cable way more robust and a lot more stable under stress. And to take this test a little further, I mean, we can crunch this up, tie it in a knot, do whatever we want, and the cable doesn't degrade. So what we have here is two expanded EPTFE dielectric type cables, a competitor's versus our own. Is what we're trying to show here is the stability difference between the two different cables. The yellow cable being a competitor's cable represented by the yellow trace on the VNA versus the blue cable built here at High Speed Interconnects is the blue trace on the VNA. Any flexure we put into these, that yellow line has no stability whatsoever to it. But you'll see the, the blue cable going through the same motions is rock solid. It doesn't change. In a test lab environment, you do not want to have any variation in your test measurements. So any subject to vibrations, flexures, or anything along that lines, you want to have a stable, reliable measurement. As you, as you can see, the yellow cable is not only not stable, but it does not recover fully to the original position that it started in.